I'm Pettis Reed. I'm the County Commissioner for District 8 right here in Rutherford County. This is our opportunity to have the ribbon cutting for the uh, new addition to Eagleville School. Just uh, so excited for this day. This We've been waiting for it for a long time. The, the parents, the staff, everybody's been working real hard to have this opportunity to get this done right here in Eagleville to uh, benefit this high school. We've added new classrooms. We added a band room, course rooms, new science rooms, remodeled the uh, the elementary area and, and the kitchen area. Uh, something I, I noticed a while ago, they even have a bank now in this school, and the uh, city of Eagleville doesn't have a bank, and even the school now has one. So it, it's a great day for Eagleville and a great day for Eagleville High School. Okay. We uh, have had portables here at this school for many, many years, and it's just the fact that this school's been growing. A lot of people want to come to a school that's K through 12. And uh, as it's grown, it's had needs. And uh, the community here has pushed for those needs. They've asked the county commission for these, these increases. And they've, they've supported it very strongly. And with the help of the county commission uh, to get this done, it's been done. And uh, we're just honored that we can do this. And now it's here with a new stage. In fact, this fall, their first production is going to be The Wizard of Oz. So this, this is something that's important to this community. Yeah, as well as the education system here in Rutherford County. Yeah, Joseph Binkley, uh, principal with Binkley Garcia Architecture. It's an exciting day for the ribbon cutting of Eagleville School and um, sort of the completion of the phases of work uh, that have been done the past few years. This school is unique, of course, because it's a uh, one, one school complex. Uh, but it began several years ago, and we were involved uh, several years ago in first putting together a master plan of how they could build out uh, the areas needed. And then as it, as it came about, uh, we, we broke that project into phases. And of course, one phase was done a couple of years ago, and then this phase was completed uh, just now. And um, this one was actually called phase one and it was decided to flip those two. So uh, just then the implementation of that master plan was done in construction phases. It, um, this expansion, uh, the biggest component of it uh, is the auditorium. And the school had not had, had a true auditorium. And so uh, to have a place where the school and the community could use a central location with nice fixed seating and a, stay, a true stage uh, for all types of speeches and performances. Uh, that was one of the main components. And I think the other thing is that um, it filled in the gap between the main part of the school and the gymnasium, so you can now, all under one roof, uh, make your way throughout the building. And so even from a safety standpoint, to have everyone uh, together under one roof is an advantage. Well, we appreciate uh, being involved. Uh, done several Rutherford County School projects, and uh, this one has been unique to be in this community and, and the, this K-12 school uh, in, in this beautiful setting. So uh, we've, we've just been real pleased to be involved. Appreciate that. We're just looking for the what's going to come from this school. Uh, we can see that students are going to take this opportunity to better themselves and what they're going to do for Rutherford County is just going to be outstanding.